subscribe to Naika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. Hey guys, I'm Elton J Fernandez and with me is Sneha. We're here to bring you a special, very special, special because it's a monochrome look, but it's a Christmas party look. Um, and we're here for the beauty book by Nika, and we're going to use products for makeup by my favorite Maybelline New York. And for hair, we're going to use Wella. Uh, so let's begin. For makeup, we're going to start with the Fit Me Foundation. This is shade number 310. Ooh. I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to take this at the back of my hand and I'm going to apply this. So once we're done with foundation, so this is Fit Me. Um, it's just a simple compact in the shade 130. Just sweep this across the face very lightly. I'm going to take this uh, contour stick and just draw a line under her cheekbone right there, under her jawline, some in the temples right there, the side of the nose and the inner corners of the eyes. I'm just going to blend this. So I'm going to use the strobing stick by Maybelline on her cheekbones, so sort of bridge of her nose, um, to the side of her forehead, just so we have dimension when she's in movement. A little on the fulcrum there, the top of the lip. And then we're going to blend all of this together like they're all friends. I'm moving in with one of my favorite products of the year that I found. It's the Maybelline Blush Contour Palette and it works great with my monochrome look. Let's pick the lighter color first. It's not a basic let's go to work kind of look. It's a Christmas look so it's festive, it's special. So I'm going to pick this bright pink first. So I'm going to use the apples of her cheek to begin with. Right there. Blend that upwards. So that pink's done. Now. I'm going to take a little bit of this peach and I'm going to throw it here from the middle to the side and I'm going to take this peach and go into the sort of brow bone and the temples just ever so lightly. We just want to introduce some color there and with an upward motion I'm just going to let the brush walk across the face right there onto the brow bone. Now I'm going to take the, a smaller brush and the deeper tone and just again use that only on the bottom of the cheeks. You know kind of like a, a fruit, just blending all these pinks together. I'm going to throw some of this over here so it sort of comes together underneath the brow bone. Now I'm going to take the powder highlighter shade and layer it on top of that cream highlighter that we had right on the top of the cheeks this time. Also on the brow bone to the top right there, the highlighter on the sides of the forehead in a little strip right there, a mascara and it's going to be the Hyper Curl Mascara, wiggle at the base to separate and pull to coat. I'm just making sure that I cover every strand of hair, repeat that in the other eye. Isn't that mascara just lovely? I like it. So I'm using the Blush Nudes palette and we're gonna go with a very halka pink and I'm gonna put it right on her eyelid, close your eyes, right there. Now again, consider your own face. So I wanna pull it out. So using darker tones on her necessarily isn't gonna do much for me. It's going to absorb more light and take more shadow. So I wanna pull it out. So I'm using the lighter pink. Now if you have a, a, an eyelid that's protruding or you have a lot of space to play with, then use a much deeper pink, something even deeper than this. Maybe you want to use the blusher, right? Um, but play with it your way. So this is like a blush pink, you know, it's the tiniest possible, li lightest possible pink. So it's called a blush pink. And I'm using it on the eyelids. So those two tones. Then with the same brush, I'm going to pick um, the deeper pink. And I'm going to throw that on the inner corner of her eye right there. Blend it into her brow bone and that contour. Then, I'm going to take this deep color right there. 
the black with the pink shimmers and ask Sona to look up at the roof, up at the roof, yeah. And throw this in right in the corner over here. Now what this is going to do is just add a little bit of a detail and again catch a little shadow under the eyes, it will make the lash line look a little more lush. Right there. And okay. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of the same shadow on the outer corners of her upper eyelids, so close your eyes. Right there. Just blending this into the outer corners of the eyes and then blending this upwards and outwards and right there like so. You see? Just a little bit of a shadow there. I like using my fingers too, see? I'm going to use this uh, Brow dra Drama Pomade. So easy, right? Simple. Quick few strokes, the brows are ready. Now to finish this look off, I'm going to use the Superstay Matte Ink. It's quite pink, I'm warning you. Right there. So I'm going to put this pink. And then I'm going to take my lip brush and I'm going to blend whatever's left out onto the lip line. If you like a lip liner, go for it. If you want to fill this up with another kind of pink, go for it. There's no wrong or right. I'm going to powder her face a little bit. Just eliminate any extra shine that we have around the nose, wherever you get oily. Yeah. All right. And now we're going to move on to the hair. So I've used Root Shoot. It's just a mousse, um, but it's a very effective mousse. And you, you just have to take a small little amount, right, a, a pea-sized amount like that, right. rub it through the hair. So for example, I'll just do one section, use your tongue, I'm going to just rotate this around the barrel of the iron, right. While it's in the hair, I'm still giving it, you see, I'm moving the barrel. So we're really distributing heat across the hair and then you just let that drop, right? I then have hairspray that I will use just a little bit before we brush out the curls. What's this one? Now this one's called uh, Stay Styled. It's by IME and it's just a, a soft brushable hairspray. So what it's going to do is take out the curl and send it down, down, down into the into the ends and then the ends are going to curl up a little bit. So you brush the hair properly, fully, like so. You see that? See, so you let the hair really tell you where it wants to go, right? So I'm just brushing it, letting it fall naturally and then I, letting it tell me where it wants to go. So I'm going to take Shimmer Delight. It's a glossy kind of spray. Close your eyes. I'm just going to just quickly Spritz that into the hair so we have a, a little shine. Now, now I'm going to reach out with my hairspray. This is again stay styled uh, and I'm going to shape this. So let's see where the hair wants to go. Now I'm going to take a hairspray. First, I'll freeze this in place. Right? And now before it dries quickly, I'm going to elevate some bits. So I'm going to take this with my fingers. Just spray a little with my fingers. Looking very premium at this point. We want to pull this up a little bit. Wear your hair any way you like, but I like this little vintage take. So don't forget guys, if you've liked this look, you can shop them on nika.com and we would like to wish you guys a very happy festive season. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah.